Indonesia's military wrapped up days of maneuvers widely seen as directed against China's ambitions in the South China Sea. Part of the exercises took place in the Natuna Islands, which were the flashpoints in 2016 and again last year for incidents involving Chinese fishing boats. While Indonesia is not one of the countries claiming sovereignty over islands and reefs disputed by China, Taiwan, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Malaysia, it has refused an invitation by China to discuss what Beijing described as an overlapping claim of maritime rights and interests. The drills featured the rapid deployment of troops to counter and repel enemy forces trying to land on an island. A variety of ships as well as tanks, cannons, missile systems, and Air Force helicopters were deployed during the maneuvers. A total of 2,000 members of the Indonesian Armed Forces participated in the amphibious warfare simulations. The Singapore Army has begun fielding a new armored fighting vehicle, AFV, called the Hunter. The 29.5-ton vehicle can carry three crew members and eight other soldiers. The Hunter is the Army's first fully digitalized platform and is designed to provide armored forces with enhanced capabilities to operate more effectively and efficiently in various phases of military operations. The new AFV integrated with command, control, communications, and computer systems. The newest AFV is based on track chassis and features a stronger hull. It can accommodate a commander, a driver, and a gunner. It features an integrated combat cockpit enabling the gunner and commander to operate the vehicle using common controls. The Hunter's drive-by-wire design which controls its movements electronically instead of through rods and pistons attached to the driver pedals, allow the vehicle commander to drive when required. India and Indonesia agreed to expand strategic cooperation in a range of areas including defense industries and technology sharing, as the two maritime neighbors looked at injecting a new momentum to their security partnership. The possible areas of further expansion of defense and military ties were discussed during talks between Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and his Indonesian counterpart General Prabowo Subianto. Sources said the issue of possible export of Brahmo's cruise missile to Indonesia by India and ways to further deepen maritime security cooperation figured prominently in the talks. India and Indonesia have robust cooperation in the area of defense and security. The two countries inked a new defense cooperation agreement in 2018. The pact was aimed at reflecting the elevation of relationship between the two countries to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the channel and want to support, please support on Patreon or PayPal. The details are given below in the description.